Hi everyone and welcome back. How are you guys today? You guys, I am so excited to be back today because today we're back with yet another treasure reaction. You guys look fancy right now. I'm actually really excited about today. Now, for anyone who may not know, we are in the midst of my first treasure comeback and truthfully, it has been, it's been really, really fun so far. Like, honestly, we watched the title track MV yesterday, which was Hello, and I'm obsessed. Like, watching that MV, it was an instant serotonin boost. Like, just watching them look like they were genuinely having a good time, it meant everything, especially because because I am getting to know more about the personalities through Treasure Map and if you guys are watching that with me you know I'm kind of dying through it because it's just it's a lot there they're so goofy and they're so fun and it's just it's a lot to take in and now we're actually gonna get to sit down and listen to the album now granted yes I have listened to past albums like I was here for Jing Chin and I guess technically that would have been my first comeback but I'm treating this as it and look we've been through albums we've been through songs and I like I know them I know their voices I know their music and stuff like that right but it's different it's different because this is like the first official comeback and I am I'm scared I'm scared because as I've said in the past video I, I don't have a bias yet or biases and I'm kind of waiting just until like one kind of like sneaks up and completely grabs me so um who knows that could that could happen in this in this video i have no idea but look we're here and we're gonna do this now it's not a very long album that they put out it's only like five songs in total and if we take hello out of that there's only four other us what four other songs for us to listen to that's what i meant to say um so the first one i believe it would be pronounced like volcano like volcano volcano maybe i have no idea after that we are going into clap followed by that is thank you and then we are ending it all off on hold it in um i don't i don't know anything about any of these songs which is a little intimidating especially because we're starting with a rap line song and um there's that look i have issues with rap lines in general and honestly treasure is no exception to that so um yeah, but you know what? It's fine. We're just, we're going to jump in and, and see where things take us. And yeah, okay. I'm going to stop talking. We got this. We can do this. Huh. Okay, let's go. This dum, 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 dum. I like that. Okay. What? <laughs> I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting the hard like rock feel to come in what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? Ah, button! Oh, by the way, I'm using lyric videos, clearly. Look, lyric videos, not accurate. I know, mistranslate things, I know. Assigns one thing to the wrong person, I know. But I need to know at least a basic overall view of what is happening. Please don't complain about the lyric videos I chose. I tried my best, but without watching the videos, I have no idea if things are right or not. So if you see something that is wrong, please let me know. I just want to throw that out there because I know someone's going to complain. So yeah, that is this is for you. Okay, anyway, sorry. What? Ooh. Ooh. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Shut up. Yeah, 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 yeah
Like almost like a turntable being mixed in the background. Okay. <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? Okay, I cannot be the only person that was completely thrown off by that. Look, remember, I don't watch teasers. I don't watch like highlight medleys or like album previews or te anything that really involves anything with a comeback. So I did not <laughs> expect that in the slightest look. When I heard we were getting a rap line song, I thought it was going to be like heavy hip hop or just something like something in that genre, especially because Hello was... What? Can you... <laughs> Can we please just acknowledge that that is the biggest whiplash from Hollow to going to Volcano, Vol but what, whatever, however you pronounce it. <laughs> what? I was not expecting this like heavy influence of like rock and it, it, oh my god, it's going to be such a good song to work out to. It's going to be such a good song to listen to at the gym and the way that their voices accommodated that song so well, like I don't know if accommodate is the right word to use, but you know what I'm saying? Like truthfully, I, because I don't feel like I've really heard heard that from them before so getting to hear something that is of that genre that has that more like heavy influence and the way that their voices still match everything perfectly I I why what I actually really like that now granted I don't know how often I would listen to it because normally I'm not like a like let's listen to like rock like alternative music type of gal which you know what is not an issue not an issue at all however as I said I could definitely listen to that while I was in the gym. Oh, that's that's definitely going on the gym playlist. Holy shit, are you kidding me? Holy shit, wow. The thing is, is that I don't feel like people give Treasure the chance. I don't feel like they give them the chance. I feel like they listen to maybe like their debut and maybe two other title tracks and they're like, eh, it is what it is. But the thing is, is like you have to dive into their B-sides. You have to check out a group's B-sides because you don't really know the group and what they're capable of until you check out those b-sides and just people are missing out people are missing out because holy fuck wow anyways with all of that being said we're gonna move on to our next song which is clap and oh god let's let's see at this point i have no idea where this album is gonna go because i've already had like whiplash from the first two songs so um let's gosh let's see let's go Ooh. Yo 
switch that we had right there to go right back in it's just fun giving very like subtropical <laughs> okay that was again that was a very big like boost of serotonin going from the last song to that I feel like I got a bit of like emotional whiplash I'm not gonna lie to you but that song it just it was happy it was comforting and it also just it made you want to feel happy it made you want to get up and start moving and I don't know there's something about when they come together and they do like this like kind of like almost like harmonizing like chorus you would say I don't know I don't know the structure of songs please don't come at me but anytime that they come together it just it has a certain effect on me at least that I I don't know I just I love so much music is just such a like a huge boost of serotonin and it's them in general as well like them themselves are this this just this beautiful little beam of light and I just I want more people to see that I want more people to know that because are you kidding me like I smiled through that entire song to the point where my cheeks felt like they were gonna hurt because I was smiling so much oh no I really really like that song okay so far this is a no skip album like every song on this album has been amazing so I'm very very excited to see what happens next so we are moving on to the next song and it's the two of them and I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen so we're gonna jump into thank you and oh god let's do this let's go okay this is where we're going okay Thank you. 
really like the way this sounds. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This album is amazing. Shut up. Okay, I really, really like this, and I love the two of them coming together because Haruto has like this kind of like obviously a deeper tone, and then mixing it with that like sweet and just like almost like silky softness that he has in his voice. It's just there's a lot, there's a lot happening right now, and I really really love because look if you mix them all together obviously treasure is composed of vocalists that have such great ability and just different tones different tones different structures for their voices and it's beautiful however pulling two members out to do a collab together and having their voices the completely different end of the spectrum and they just they go together so well which would make sense obviously but just hearing it like this i love it i love it so much <laughs> Rather than saying see you again, it's okay to say goodbye. I hope it reaches your ears this song for you. Thank you. I love you. That's honestly this is this is beautiful and kind of heartbreaking at the same time because they mentioned like the other person falling in love, but they also mentioned like the flowery path. And when I think of a flowery path, I think of someone that has passed away. And I don't know, just the acceptance that you love someone. You love them so much, they changed your life and for some reason, something didn't work out. Something happened, and you're no longer together. But saying, like, like it's okay to say goodbye. I hope it reaches your ears. A song for you. Thank you. I love you. Like, thank you for bringing these good times into my life. Like, I'm appreciative of that. And I just, I hope this reaches you. I hope that you're able to hear this. Like, it's, it's bittersweet, but it's also, like, healing at the same time. Because, unfortunately, not everyone gets that healing moment. Sometimes you're left with that pain of the past. And it just... I don't know, I really love it. I really, really love the way they sound too. Well, you know what, we're just working back. I love that! I love that! 
beautiful memories. It will disappear someday. I want to leave it as a song even now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the fact is, is that even though we want to hold on to these dear memories, we want to hold on to them for dear life. As time goes on, as you grow older, as you experience new things, memories start to fade. Things that happen start to kind of change in your head. And it's not always crystal clear. It's not always as accurate as it was before. And to leave it as a song so that way they're kind of just encased in this song. Like, even if I don't remember everything that happened, even if for some reason the accuracy of the event changes in my head as time goes by, like, they're preserved in this song and it, they'll always be beautiful and always be thankful and I just, I really love it. like this song fuck I really really like that song I loved just the entire message the entire feel the entire just idea of being able to grow to be able to accept that things didn't work out and to be thankful for the person even though it's painful and even though you would rather have them in your life for some reason something didn't work out between the two of you and being accepting to the fact that like okay this didn't work. This didn't happen the way that I wanted it to. But you know what? I hope that you're okay. I hope that you find someone that you love. And all of these memories that we created, all of this love that we shared is now just, it's it, it's laced in a beautiful song that we'll remember forever. And I hope that you hear it one day and know that I love you and I'm thankful for you. And it's just, it's so fucking sweet. It's so fucking sweet and sentimental. And it's just, I love it so much. And I love that it felt happy at the same time because they're not wanting to feel sad about letting them go. They're wanting to be happy and to be able to move on and for the other person to be happy as well. And it's really, it's really nice. I really like that song. Oh god. Oh no. Okay. So there's that. Oh, at this point, I don't I don't know what's going to happen or where we're going to go. So oh god, let's just do this and see what happens. Let's go. Ooh, birds. That's really pretty. <laughs> Stop with these lyrics. Unchangingly, I am forever that even you who left loved me. Like, even though you're heartbroken that the person left and you're by yourself, like, I'm forever that even you who left loved me. Wow. And then going into, I'm left alone and you're without me. It's beautiful. Like a single rose. That's, this is heartbreaking. Yeah. They're playing with my emotions, man. I wasn't expecting to picked up and then we slowed right back down so that it kind of shows like there is happiness in there like even though we have like kind of like like almost almost like a sad and somber type feel there can be happiness that is found and i i feel like that's why we got that change up but i really like that okay this piano with the vocals are killing me 
지난 흔적들이 나를 집어삼켜 네가 내게 줬던 마음 다른 사람에게 갈까 봐 나에게 전화를 걸어줘요 빨리 그냥 듣고 싶어 내 목소리 너무 당연했던 모든 게날 떠나고 참 모실게 괴롭히고 또 괴롭히네 그저 난번 이처럼 EP, this entire album is perfect. Are you kidding me? Like, I don't, I don't know how to put into words how much I fucking love that song. Are you kidding me? They're literally saying like, I'm going to bury the memories. I'm going to bury the pictures. Like, but right now, because I'm going to bury it, I'm going to take it out one last time and look at it. But because I'm doing this, I'm going to be left with only regret. But there is still almost a peace of mind, a peace of happiness in letting go of the past and it just oh god it's so good this entire ep is so good it's so good. are you kidding me <laughs> i really i really 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 love that oh my god i am so proud of them are you i like oh god now i need to buy one i need to buy one i need to buy one but i don't know which one to buy oh fuck 